Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'm going to show you how to make your Windows 10 look like Mac OS Big Sur. So let's get started. First, before you do anything, open up your start and type in restore. You're gonna see a button that says create a restore point. Click on it. Next, we need to configure system restore. So click configure, turn on system protection and turn on max usage just a little bit. After you're finished, click OK. Now we need to actually create a restore point so we can undo the changes later if needed. So I'm going to click create and type in a restore point name, whatever you want, click create. The restore point was created successfully. Close and OK. And now we can proceed with the changes. Now where are the download links? Well, you can find all you need on this website. So feel free to browse through the website and see what you can find. So first you are going to get to this page. It's Big Sur for Windows 10. This is provided by Nivu Designs. First, I'm gonna click the download button and download this particular file. While this is downloading, I'm gonna actually scroll down and you'll see it says get even more and we can get a couple of more things. Then there is Big Sur Beta 3 for Rain Meter, which we'll be acquiring as well. Simplify Big Sur Windows cursors and tile icons. After that, we're also gonna download Old New Explorer. I'm also going to get Ultra UX Team Patcher. Finally, there is guide to installing Windows 10 themes. So I get to this link, Big Sur for Rain Meter, provided by this person, I'm gonna click download button. Next, there is Simplify Big Sur, as you can see the cursors, this is how they look like. Finally, there are tile icons. There's a folder ICO, I'm gonna click download. Here is Old New Explorer. I'll also find Rain Meter and download the final version. Next, there is WinStep Nexus, so I'm gonna scroll down and look for download Nexus free version. One more thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna find the Mac OS Big Sur wallpaper and download it. So here's everything I have. So I'm starting the installation with Ultra UX Team Patcher, right click, run as administrator. Click next, accept, next again, I agree, and I'm gonna click install. You'll also notice that the program itself sets up a restore point for you. Anyhow, I'm gonna click next, next again and reboot now. So the computer has rebooted. I'm going back to downloads. Next up, I'm starting with this, the Big Sur 2 folder. I'm gonna extract it. I can delete the archive and open up the folder. So let's go ahead and open up the themes folder and I'm gonna find thin taskbar. We're going to copy all of this and put it into themes folder. Actually, it's right here, see Windows resources themes and you wanna paste it right here and continue. And there we go, we can now double click on Big Sur today. Wait a little bit and as you can see the theme changes, you're gonna notice that the buttons have changed and that your windows are actually rounded. You can also open up the taskbar settings and click use small taskbar buttons and here's how it looks like. Obviously you can unlock the taskbar and drag it to the top. Let's go back and let's keep moving on. Next, let's install cursors. Here are the cursors. You're gonna find install.inf. Right click, install. Click yes. Next, open up start and look for cursor. You can click any of the buttons that's gonna open up the mouse pointer menu. Go to additional mouse settings, additional mouse options until you see this window. Go to pointers, schemes and find Big Sur and hit OK. And click yes. As you can see, the cursor is now changed. Next, let's install icons. But before we do that, let's open up the internet browser and I'll need to acquire 7TSP. And here's the download button. Here it is. I'm going to unzip it. I can delete the archive and open up the folder. Rename this to exe. Yes. I'm gonna double click on it. Click yes. I agree and here's the program. So now I can go back and since I'm using the light mode, I can remove the dot remove and change this. Next, I'm just gonna copy this patch really quickly because I'm gonna go back to the seven theme source patcher, add a custom pack. And I can quickly paste the path that I just copied so it takes me to this file and I can click open. One moment please, you're gonna see that Big Sur shows up. I'm gonna click start patching. Yes. Now all we have to do is wait for this bar to finish up. It's asking me to reboot, so I'm gonna click yes. Once your computer powers up again, 
This is the message you get. Hit OK. You're also going to notice that your computer's icons have now changed. Even if you go to any other folders, you're also going to notice that bunch of icons have changed as well. So let's go back to our main downloads folder and this time we're going to unpackage the Nexus. Delete the archive, open up the folder and run the setup. As soon as the program finishes installing, I'm just going to click finish and the program should start up. Also, you're going to notice that the icon will show up on your desktop. Let's go back to Big Sur Docs. And since I am using Big Sur Lite, I'm going to copy that and I'm going to copy indicators as well. I'm going to go to Documents, Winstep and Nexus. And I'm going to right click paste. And I'm going to replace the files in destination. You're going to notice the Big Sur light shows up. I'm just going to drag it into the backgrounds. After that, we can right click Nexus, go to Preferences. So once you copy all the files, all you have to do is go to Advanced and right here, click on Restore. And find this file, double click on it and here you go. A couple of things you can change is the position. You can actually change the offset if you want to, which simply means if the dock is going to be away from the bottom of your screen or not. So here's how that looks like. I like to keep it around 10, so that's how it is. Under appearances, you can change the size of the icons. You can actually make them bigger or smaller if you want to. You can also change the dock transparency if you want to, if you want to have it more transparent. There might be some of you who like the way this looks like. So once you hover over the icons, they actually get a little bigger. You can do that by changing the effect to magnify. And here are the effect settings that I have set up. But since this is Big Sur, I'm going to keep it like this. Also, launch effect can be changed. Anyhow, let us add a couple of programs, icons and more stuff. So how do you do that? First, I'm going to extract the icons I have downloaded. Delete the archive and open up the icons folder. Now, it's very simple. All you have to do is simply drag any icon, any program to the dock and let go and it's going to get added. To change the icon of that added program, simply drag any icon file over any program in the dock and you're going to notice how it changes instantly. After you add the desired programs and change the icons, you can actually do a couple of more things. You can right click, insert new dock item and then add a separator. And you can actually reposition that separator. So after you're done and satisfied with the dock, we can keep moving on. Next, let's change this wallpaper. Let's right click and set as desktop background. And now it's starting to look a little better. You know what? Let's also change this start button. To do that, we have to download this program. After it's downloaded, right click, run as administrator and install for me. Configure, start is back now. Scroll over here, click plus. Go to Big Sur, start orbs and apply any orb you like. Since I am using light version, I'll apply the light ones. Open, select them and apply. You're going to notice that the start orb has changed. Also, you can use this opportunity to change the way your start looks like. I'll keep it as it is for now. Next up, let's install rain meter. OK. Click finish. Right click, unload all of the skins. Next, let's look for this particular file and extract it. We can obviously delete the archive and open up the folder. Double click Big Sur and hit install. Now you can choose whatever mode you are using. I'm going to choose the light mode since, since that's what I'm using here. And I'm going to click apply theme and you can also select the layout. I'll choose the classic layout and look at that. This also changes our wallpaper. So by the way, if you don't like this wallpaper, you can go back and change it. But for this video, let's keep it like this for now. A couple of more things we can do is we can clean up our desktop, right clicking view and unchecking show desktop icons. Next up, let's go to old new explorer and unzip it. Obviously delete the archive, open up the folder and double click this file. Next, you can just click this button, uncheck show status bar and click install. Click and here. one more thing, open up your favorite search engine and look for Finder Bar Samurais. You should see this link, click it. And here is OSX Finder Bar. It's by this guy. So scroll down. There's also a video you can watch. First thing we need to do is download the archive. After that, we also need to download the Samurais program. So go ahead and look for Samurais. It's available on this website. 
and download it. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna extract this archive, delete the archive itself, open up the folder and open a folder again. Next, open up this please read me document, scroll down and there is a link inside that you will need to copy. Paste it into your browser. Once the page opens, scroll down and look for Samurai's that fits your desktop resolution. I'll give you an example. I use 1920 by 1080 resolution, so I'm going to download Samurai's 1920. So I'm going to right click on it and click the second option and then hit save. Now we can go back to our main folder. We can delete this folder. It's We don't need it anymore. First, I'm going to extract the Samurai's program that I downloaded, delete the archive, open up the folder and right click this file, go to properties, compatibility, run this program in compatibility mode, Windows XP Service Pack 2 and double click it. Hit OK. Next. Agree. Next. Now, for those of you who use 64-bit version of the operating system, remove this and leave it like this. Click Next and Install. After the installation is complete, you will have to reboot your operating system, so click Finish. Once the computer has rebooted, go ahead and extract the Samurais for your particular resolution that you downloaded. Delete the archive and rename the folder. We just want it named Samurais. Right click and copy it. Go to your local disk C program files. You're going to see Samurai's. Delete it. Then right click and paste the new Samurai's folder to confirm continue. And there you go. After it has been pasted, open up the folder, find client, right click and run it as an administrator. Yes. You're going to see Samurai's opens up in the tray area. Here is the S icon, right click on it, select config file and make sure finder is selected. Then you want to automatically hide your taskbar in desktop mode. You can move it to the left, right or bottom of your screen if you don't want it to be at the top, but here is the finder bar. I can actually click, go about this Mac and as you can see, it's right there. On one of my previous videos, a lot of you guys gave me a bunch of comments about buttons being on the right side. They should be on the left side. Naturally, that's how Macs look like. Let's change that as well. You're going to need a program that's called Left Sider. Just Google and you'll find it very fast. Double click that folder and there is leftsider.exe. Right click, run as administrator. As you can see, the buttons instantly move to the left side. And there we go. That's the perfect Mac OS Big Sur look for Windows 10. But wait, there's one more thing before we go. Some of you have concerns about the RAM or just in general computer power usage. Let me show you how much RAM is this using on my computer. First and foremost, let me move your attention to this system pointer over here. As you can see, the CPU usage is about 10%. It's fluctuating. Now it's 3%. And do have in mind that I am recording my desktop at this moment. So naturally, the CPU usage is going to be a little bit higher. But look at that 2%, 7%. So it's going up and down. So obviously, this modification is not using a lot of processing power. But what about RAM memory? Let's open up the task manager and sort this by RAM. Let's see what's using the most RAM. As you can see, I have my anti-malware service, which is my antivirus, and that's using the most. Let's see out of these programs that I have installed, what is using the most. Rainmeter is using 23 megabits or megabytes of RAM. Let's keep scrolling down. I think this is start is back. It's using 14 megabytes of RAM. Scrolling down here is Nexus using only 8.7 megabytes of RAM. And if I keep scrolling down, as you can see, I don't think there are uh, there's actually client that we are just running for the Samurai's. It's using only 1.3 megabytes of RAM. So that is the Samurai's program. And then left sider is using only 0.8. So very low RAM usage from all of these programs. As you can see, the most RAM is used by my antivirus software. So there you go, guys. Hopefully this answers your questions. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Feel free to subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and leave your comments below if you think I can improve this somehow. And that's about it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in future episodes. Priest, signing out. Yeah, we lay, but this shit's fantastic. For the ages, feels like it's magic. 
hear the clock been haunting my dreams It's been ticking for hours, ticking for hours yeah. Time, got a reason inside of my backpack Look